thousands of miles away from Ukraine, but just as tense. The phone conversation in which Barack Obama urges Russia to send its military forces back to base. But in response, President Putin makes it clear he has no intention of a retreat. In fact, he says he must be able to venture further if he believes there's a threat to his country's interests. The United Nations Security Council has met. Its powers are limited because Russia is a member and can veto any action. But the Secretary General has also been on the phone to Mr Putin to air what he called his grave concerns. It is crucial to restore calm and proceed to an immediate de-escalation of the situation. Cool heads must prevail and dialogue must be the only tool in ending this crisis. The pace of change in Ukraine is fast. It was only a week ago that President Yanukovych was voted out of office following violent clashes in Kiev. The protests had begun because the country started looking east more than west. But not everyone wanted revolution, which led to a return to closer ties with the EU. There are large numbers of ethnic Russians here. Moscow now says it reserves the right to protect them. Many observers felt that the Russians were going to crank up the pressure, gradually see what sort of traction they got. But in this case, they seem to have taken the plunge. And I think the very interesting question to ask is why are they doing this? Why are they moving at such speed? And I think the only rational answer that can be given at the moment is that they see a threat to their interests in Ukraine that could be permanent. They see Ukraine moving in a westerly direction with very strong Western support. Uh, and they believe that the West fermented this revolution in, uh, in Ukraine. And as it approved the use of its troops in Ukraine, Russian armour was already on the ground in the Crimean Peninsula. Ukraine branded it an act of aggression and has put its own armed forces on full alert. Today, the British Foreign Secretary, William Haig, is travelling to Kiev. We will be using every possible diplomatic channel to make clear our concern and to seek clarification from Russia of its intentions uh, and to ask for a de-escalation by all concerned. Ukraine pulled back from the brink of civil war to be left with a new crisis. The next move by any one party will be critical. Simon Clemerson, BBC News.